Surrealism began in 1924 in Paris, in this cafe, with this poet, André Breton. Note the hair. Surrealists have luxuriant hair. Breton published a manifesto. It was inspired by this man, Sigmund Freud. Note the beard. Psychoanalysts have luxuriant beards. Freud wrote a book called The Interpretation of Dreams. He believed that there was a deep layer of the human mind where memory and our most basic instincts were stored. He called it the unconscious mind, since most of the time we were not aware of it. Breton believed art and literature could represent the unconscious mind. These are some of the artists who agreed with him. Salvador Dali, Max Ernst, Merit Oppenheim, Juan Miro, Dorothea Tanning, Eve Tangi, Lee Miller, René Magritte, Claude Cahun. Here is a piece of Surrealist sculpture by Merit Oppenheim. Surrealists like to put objects that were not normally associated with one another together to make something that was playful and disturbing at the same time in order to stimulate the unconscious mind. This is a sculpture by Salvador Dali called Lobster Telephone. There were essentially two types of surrealist painting. One's about dreams, full of lots of Freudian symbols, like apples, hats, and birds. And one's called automatism, inspired by Freud's idea of free association, which was designed to reveal the unconscious mind. Here is an example of automatism by Jean Miro. It's mainly blue because Miro liked to represent dreams using the color blue. The shapes are arbitrary, as if drawn from the artist's unconscious mind. Miro's conscious mind has then turned the shapes into objects, like a shooting star and a horse. Some people didn't like surrealism. Freud didn't like it. He'd spent his life deciphering the codes of the unconscious mind so that people could understand themselves better. He thought artists should paint the conscious mind and not waste their time painting Freudian symbols like apples, hats, and birds. But surrealism continues to have a huge influence on culture and society today. As Breton said, Surrealism is not just an art movement, it's a way of thinking, a way of life, a way of transforming existence.